My name is Nitin Vats. Today I'm going to show you how you can create an Excel macro. I've seen most people wonder about like uh, whatever manual tasks they are doing and sometimes become monotonous because it's a repetition of the same thing. So can we automate that? So this particular thought strikes always in our mind how we can do that. And especially if you are in Excel, so Excel has given a feature which is known as Excel macro. So Excel macro, what does it mean? Uh, in simple terms, it only means you are writing a program in Excel or you're doing the coding in Excel to automate your manual tasks. So this is the basic concept of Excel macro. So the same we are going to leverage here and we are going to talk about how you, we can create an Excel macro. So before we begin, I would like to show you once you have installed Microsoft Excel and uh, the, the first question arises, are, is the Excel macro enabled or not or from where I can actually find an Excel macro? So to do that, uh, here the version which I'm using is of Excel 2013. So if you go here, the file menu option and go under the options and then to the customized ribbon, here you are able to see the developer tab which is not selected. So just select this, click on OK and you would be able to view the developer tab and under the developer tab there is an option called macro. So I'm not trying to make in detail uh, every aspect what's on the tab as we are restricting right now ourselves to how you can create a macro. So I will stick to that in this session. So there are two options to record a macro. One is using the relative reference and the other one is without using the relative reference. So I have already created the groundwork to show you an example for how you can use the relative reference. So to use this, probably I just tell you a scenario. So what I've done here is like we are setting in year 2015 and let's assume there is an investor in Melbourne, Australia who runs the chain of restaurants. Let's say he has three restaurants in the suburb Blackburn, Box Hill and Camberwell. And the total earning for the month of January individually was this thing. And similarly for February we have some earnings and similarly for March uh, based on different restaurants the person had some earnings. One option is I go to every section individually especially if I talk about the January so here if I write equal to then what I'm going to do I'm going to say let's say B3 plus B4 sorry B3 I just said put the caps on B3 plus B4 plus B5 and this is how you're going to get the sum for or the earning for the January 2015 and similarly, if we not need to identify what was the earning, the total gross earning for February and the March, we are going to repeat the same steps. So what if instead of repeating the same steps, I kind of write a macro or in this case, I am not literally going to write it. I'm going to automate my step. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to click on record mac macro. Uh, just make sure that use relative reference option should be enabled. So if I click it back again, it's disabled. Now again, click it so it becomes enabled. I click on record my macro. So let's assume if I'm giving this macro name as uh, calculating, calculating sum or calculating sum. I would like to give it a shortcut key so that I don't have to again go to macro, click on it, identify in which line calculating sum is setting, then I'm going to select it and then I'm going to run it. So shortcut is basically for 
not going into that much of tedious things and straight away hit it from your keyboard. So let's say if I'm going to do control plus let's say I. Uh, I'm going to give it a name say relative reference uh, description sorry not name. So by doing this we are going to understand uh, for calculating the sum I don't have to do the same thing in every cell because they can be for the whole year they can be for multiple years and if the setup is like that for an individual month you are going to calculate like I've shown here so imagine these the this type of boxes let's say were around 24 36 based on three years or 24 based on two years and so on and so forth so probably it will not be a good idea to do that however so where I'm coming from uh, let me just again click on escape and I'm going to stop this and uh, I'm going to redo it because when I selected it the macro also recorded the selection so I don't want to confuse you right now what what it's recording and what it not so let's keep it simple here so again I'm going back here uh, our use relative reference is enabled I'm going to click on record let's say I'm going to say just name it as calculate uh, I'm going to say let's say I'm using control plus y as the shortcut again I can say some description um, calculating earnings so I click on ok I go back to this cell I try to calculate the sum so which is b3 plus b4 plus b5 then I hit enter and there you go so the sum is being calculated here so I just click on stop button here as you are now can understand like when the recording start this the button comes here automatically to stop the running macro. So the best part here is I will now show you what we have recorded what's being saved under macros and I'm also going to run this by using the shortcut thing which we just now created using control Y. So let's begin first here um, if I'm going down to the cal to calculate the total of for the month of February I'm just going to go here on this cell I will click on macros uh, so we named our macro as calculate if you are able to recall so we gave it the name calculate we now going to hit the run and after running it this is the result which is being given if you remember we also gave it a shortcut here so which was control plus uh, it was Y if I'm not mistaken so I'm hitting control Y from my keyboard and there you go you are able to find or you are able to, we are able to generate the sum for this particular month so now you can see what relative reference is doing so I recorded a macro which was creating or which was calculating the sum of above three rows so I made it I use the relative reference so I don't have to do it again and again or I don't have to write this formula for individual cells uh, so that's why I use the relative reference if you can see here it has by default calculated e3 e4 e5 the sum of all three cells and similarly h4 h3 and h5 so this is the concept of relative reference uh, so in my next topic I'm going to tell you uh, instead of using relative reference which I myself uh, don't use much while writing my code in the Excel uh, what I generally do uh, let's assume if I need to calculate the sum of these three things again and again and instead of running the macro one by one or running every time the same thing by clicking run again and again for three times what if I can write a code which is going to calculate all three of them in one go as well as it can also give me the gross till date or the gross earning till date the combined 
for January, February and March the sum of these three months let's say around 27 which is 27,614 thousand dollars over here so that I'm going to show you in my next lecture so thanks a lot for watching and stay tuned we'll see you in next lecture